and animal drag performance. Patsuni started dancing at the age of seven, and his unique style called expressionism is a new way to tell stories of awareness to society. Patsuni uh, Shastri contributes the attribute of dance and drag in many national and international avenues. Patruni's work has always had interdisciplinarity in order to create a new pedagogy of performance. And Patruni performs drag in a unique interpretation of art that promotes uh, avant-garde art, anti-beauty, and a postmodern approach to art, uh, sometimes with dance and uh, other times with folk music. Patruni performs Stranimal drag under the drag name of, uh, drag name of Suffocated Art Specimen, SAS. His style for drag brings unique footprints of anti-art queen. Tranimal drag art has been given a new Indian approach with his style. Uh, they are featured in Polar Night, a short film. Um, they have also recently been featured in Absolute Pride campaign to represent a bisexuality. Uh, with their new passion, they have filmed a documentary titled Shunyam, uh, which is India's first ever silent dance film with more than 29 dancers, including late Sri Asaf Devu, and written many Telugu folk songs and plays. They are the founder of Drag Vanti, an Indian drag platform. Uh, they have also convened the Indian Drag Conference in 2021. They have performed in more than 1,000 plus shows, 50 plus workshops, five TED Talks, fashion works, and digital, digital performances across all mediums. A uh, bit about the piece. Makan is an eight minute dance performance that portrays the journey of a transgender individual, seeking a safe haven in the heartless expanse of metropolis. Uh, when denied housing, they reimagine their ideal sanctuary set to the haunting notes of Piyush Mishra's Ghar. Through graceful movements and emotive choreography, Makan tells a powerful story of resilience, identity, and the universal quest for acceptance and belonging. The performance challenges societal norms and celebrates the strength of transgender individuals, inviting the audience uh, to reflect on empathy and inclusion in our urban communities. The stage is all yours. Yeah, so that's all the energy which I required. A little bit changes were planned, so I was supposed to kind of do a uh, dance piece, uh, but I thought early morning going ahead and talking about my sadnesses and sadnesses of all our trans people, which is reality for sure. Uh, you know, might uh, not be a very ideal setup. So I uh, have a change of plan. I'm bringing folk music to all of you, and I hope you like it. Um, can I get a quick consensus of how many people would understand Telugu? Please raise your hands. Great. Uh, how many of you are Bengalis or understands Bengali? And how many of you? Are, yeah, minorities can't help. Um, <laughs> How many of you are, uh, you know, like uh, Hindi or uh, understand Hindi? Yeah, and then we say it's not the national language. <laughs> so I will be mixing up all the songs, uh, and uh, I will not talk about English because we are not colonized, still I'm talking English. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead, uh, and uh, you can clap with me, you can sing with me. Uh, before my other lashes fall off, I'll start with the performance. The first piece, uh, is basically my emotion immediately after I heard the judgment of the Supreme Court on marriage verdict. Since so uh, the Hari song, which talks about the pain <coughs> of uh, you know missing out, not being seen, but also feels extremely sexual because that's the only thing which the Supreme Court has allowed us to do. So this song is called as Amnavinya Dasli Bia. Nagadiya who Nagadi Chiena Jada. Not to touch a suit, they 
and we have to sing in the you know, let's do the things together. I say bade bade and you have to say bade bade as well. Okay, ready one?